Hey guys, it's me Mateo here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can install Minecraft Forge and Optifine on Ubuntu, Linux Mint and probably a few other Debian based Linux distributions. Uh, Optifine improves your performance in Minecraft and allows you to use shaders, while Forge allows you to install mods. So we're going to install Optifine first. Go to optifine.net, click on download, and then download the one that you need. So in this case, we're going to install it for 1.14.4. So just pick this one and then download it. Once you have downloaded it, go to your files and find the files you just downloaded. Right click uh, on that file, click on properties then permissions and make sure to tick this box that says allow executing file as program once you've done that you can close this window double click on the file and click install now you just have to wait a bit until this message pops up now you can close it and as you can see, we have got a new profile here that says 1.14.4 Optifine. So, now we can just start the game. So this is going to take a few seconds. Here we go. So let's see. Um, let's go to the redstone testing world. Right, so here I am in the redstone testing world, and uh, as you can see, I have some shaders enabled and the lighting is looking much more realistic uh, there are all sorts of reflections on what like obsidian and there are very nice clouds it's looking really cool and yeah this also improves your performance and it allows you to zoom by uh, hitting C on your keyboard so yeah, as you can see, we are zooming now. Um, if you go to options and video settings, you can see that there are a lot more options. Uh, you can turn your render distance all the way up to 64 chunks if you have at least 3 gigabytes of RAM allocated to Minecraft. There are performance options and yeah, a lot of stuff here. And you can also enable shaders here. I have already installed these shaders. Um, to install shaders, just download a shader pack and then copy it to your shader packs folder, which you can open here. So I will link the shader that I'm using now in the description if you want to check it out as well. You get the reflections, you also need a resource pack though. So I'm gonna Link that one too. But yeah, so the rest do it. Now we are going to install Forge. So I'll go to MinecraftForge.net. Then go to Files. And then go to the one you need. Um, I recommend to use the 1.12.2 version because that one has the most uh, mods. This one has the most supported mods. For 1.15, there really are not uh, much mods, uh, many mods. So I highly recommend you, you use 1.12.2. So download the latest one here and don't download the Windows installer because, well, this is. We are not using Windows, instead download the normal installer.
once you've done that, uh, do the same you did with Optifine. So go to Properties, Permissions, allow executing file as program. Double click and, and wait and install client. But before we do that, you have to make sure that you've played 1.12 in this case at least once. If you want to install it for 1.14.4, you have to make sure you have played 1.14. Point four at least once. Same goes to Optifine by the way. So we are going to open up 1.12.2 and as you can see it immediately crashes because if you want to open a Minecraft version below I believe it's 1.13.1 or something you need to make sure you're using Java version 8 so way to do that is you go to the terminal and then type in this command I will uh, have it in the description so you don't have to type it and uh, type in your password for your computer and then use Java 8 so as you can see we are currently using Java 11 so we want number 2 which is Java 8, so let's type in 2, enter again, you can close this window now, I'll go to the Minecraft launcher, and now we can open 1.12.2, as you can see. So, yeah. Um, now we've got that out of the way, we can just install it. So Minecraft Forge on its own does nothing, it's just normal Minecraft. So we will need to install mods for that. So I'm going to be showing you how you can do that next. There are a lot of sites from which you can download mods, but not all of them are safe. So the one that I recommend that is 100% safe is CurseForge. So go to curseforge.com slash Minecraft and then you can uh, choose either mods or mod packs so we're going to download a mod and then you can search for the mod that you want and install it to install it just copy um, the mod file it should have the .jar extension copy it to your mods folder and then open minecraft forge the forge file proof the forge profile in your minecraft launcher so i've just installed a few mods and one important thing that i forgot to mention is that forge does not make a profile for itself so to do that go to new and then select forge from the version menu it's all the way down so select it and name it so you can find it back and I've installed a few mods uh, to install mods just copy the jar files to your mod folder which is located in your .minecraft folder and depending on how many mods you have loading the game can take quite a long time so I don't have too many mods but it will take a bit of time So as you can see, I've got, I've got 24 mods. But yeah, there we go. It's done. So. I've got a world set up here where I can showcase a few features of the of the mods that I've got installed. So you get an idea of just how much a mod can change the game. Uh, so I do have shaders enabled. I'm gonna have to disable them because mods are not very good for your frame rates. So let's disable the shaders. Uh, if you've got Forge 1.12.2, you can also just install optifine by 
placing it in your mods folder. I highly recommend you to do that because mods uh, really reduce your frame rate. So as you can see, you've got grappling hooks which are really cool if you can aim with them. And we also have rockets. So we just create a launch pad, place this down, get inside, and wait a few seconds, we're going to be launched into space. Hmm, I don't know how loud this actually is, let's turn the volume down a little bit. This is really cool. You can also steer your rocket. Just doesn't move do a lot. And we have left the planet Earth. This is a really cool mod. I might want to make a series when I'm playing this mod pack. So yeah, you can you can go to different solar systems and there are all kinds of planets there you can go to the asteroid belt um, to other solar systems like I said so then let's go to the asteroid so it's now generating the world and here we go it's going to land on this giant asteroid. And these new mobs, I don't know how what they're called, but I'm just going to call them uh, space creepers. They are called evolved creepers. They are really cool. They are looking really cool. So if you are in the asteroid field, I highly recommend you have a gravel, because otherwise it's impossible to move here. Also notice how there is just a little bit of gravity. So you're almost flying. There are new ores here. It's really cool. So yeah, because I'm in creative I don't have to scrap a hook and can also just fly. And what is this? I have never seen this before. Wait, this is one of those new dungeons? It probably is. But yeah, I've also installed a mod called Buildcraft, which adds all kinds of cool technologies and allows you to make all kinds of really cool um, contraptions. It's really cool. It's kind of like yeah, Redstone Plus. But I believe Redstone Plus is also a mod on its own. But what's this is that an item. Probably is. Anyway, I'm now in spectator mode, so I can decipher this because I've never seen this before. Here, yeah. as you can see, this, this is not even Minecraft anymore. So, let's go back to planet Earth. Let's make a launch pad here. Nice rocket. Uh, this is a special rocket, by the way. If you are playing this in survival, you would also need to fuel this thing. But because I'm in creative, I can use a pre fueled rocket. So let's go back to Earth and show you the last thing. Just some um, 
machines I built using the Buildcraft technology mod. So let's go on. Whoa, that's a big ice asteroid thing. Let's get back. Oh, we can also create space stations, by the way. It's also really cool. So, where am I exactly? I believe this has the rocket in it this parachute yep the rocket and the launch pad I have need them because I'm in creative but let's go to back to where we were before because I've got something set up um, I believe it was over here Oh, I've probably lost it. Oh, no, 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 I, yeah, yeah, I've not lost it. Here it is. So, this is what's known as a quarry, and this basically automatically mines. Uh, yeah, a giant hole. Once again, I'm using um, creative engines because. Yeah, just lazy. And um, this would take a lot more stuff to set up in survival. Um, the blocks are being transported through these pipes. And once again, this is really cool. A great way to get resources if you have this mod installed. But yeah, that's all I have time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe and hit the bell. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Wait, this is not an episode. I'll see you guys in the next video.